This video is a continuation of the previous one about um, data types and data issues in GIS. In this case, I'm going to focus on um, land use as it is the topic of this week. I'd like to make a distinction and uh, have a brief philosophical uh, debate about the use of the term land use versus the use of the term land cover. Um, most people, many people at least, consider these to be synonymous and in fact the data sets that we use are often referred to as land use land cover data sets. However, um, in, the more, in, in the more scientific view, there really could be a distinct difference between the two of these. Land use is a very human related designation for the characteristic of the Earth's surface and land use is uh, is oriented toward naming, classifying, or categorizing what people actually use are using the land surface for. Um, so very, very specific to that. Whereas land cover refers to the composition or characteristics of the Earth's surface, which uh, which has some subtle differences. By example, I, I might propose that um, a cemetery and a golf course are very, very different land uses and they would uh, have very different um, audiences or users whereas as land cover they're both um, grassy rolling areas of land so as far as land cover a cemetery and a golf course perhaps would be synonymous because the hydrologic, ecological response of cemetery and golf course would be very similar, even though from the human point of view, those would be considered two very different uses of the land. So that philosophical discussion beyond, um, what will lead, this, lead us to another one. Um, this is, uh, in the center of this picture is uh, a raster data set which shows land use with appropriate colors assigned to each cell um, and in this case they're common that, that commercial and industrial areas, downtown areas are in darkest red, residential are in orange showing a high degree of impact, water is blue and uh, various shades of brownish or greenish represent forest and, uh, and agricultural areas. So this might be clear cut at first glance, but um, our, when we designate something as residential, that is really a land use categorization, and it's not really a unique land cover designation. Within a residential area, it is very possible to have paved surfaces, driveways and roads, impervious surfaces, other impervious surfaces, such as rooftops, um, significant numbers of trees, grassed areas, and uh, perhaps other kinds of uh, what we would call land covers. So residential really is not a land cover. It's really a land use. We think of it as a neighborhood, a single land use, but from the point of view of land cover, ecological or hydrologic response, it's really, uh, it's really a collection of cover types. Um, and uh, this is, uh, this is another um, example of that, grassland versus cornfield. Um, these uh, behave very similarly as land cover, but they could be considered to be very different land uses. So that debate being done, I'd like to take a, a very brief introduction now, and then I'm going to have another presentation shortly following, which shows uh, how one gets um, land cover data. Um, and generally we talk about the uh, organization called the Multi-Resolution Land Characteristics Consortium, um, which is uh, a very large group of people working together to create something called the National Land Cover Data Set, NLCD. Um, just recently, uh, th this slide shows that uh, the, the last dated NLCD is 2006. Just recently, there's been a new release of uh, 2011 benchmark land cover data set now available which uh, 
um, is very, very current. It represents the uh, conditions that the scientists believe existed um, in the year 2011. It does take some time to capture, analyze, and uh, double check, and finally um, upload all of that data. So this is 2006. There is 2011 available now. Um, the way that it, we access National Land Cover Data Set is through the National Map Viewer, which is a wonderful tool which provides us access to a very substantial number of uh, data sets, um, and there's more all the time, all in one place using a standard search and download process. That's a very, very good thing. Um, and I'm going to skip this slide. It's a, it's a semi-obsolete. Um, download download viewer for the um, just for land use data which is uh, being phased out at this time that's the end of that slideshow